Good Wednesday morning. How you doing out there in YouTube land today? Well, I just got to watching a dog, a D-E-R-B channel, on his JBC camcorder, which is similar to the one I've got. This is mine. It looks quite different than his. Also says HD, also says 40X on the zoom. Um, a GZ E100BU. I think his is a WU. I don't know if this is the Bob Love W1. I don't know if I can get close enough to that. I This is my close-up camera here, and obviously I can't use that and photograph itself. So, anyways... um. I think it's the same camera, basically. Um, it is not touchscreen, Doug. Um, it's menu-driven here, with these buttons over here. Now, I also have a K-Star battery, which is on charge. It's supposed to be all done now using the KC, the K-Star battery charger. 900 milliamp hour battery and the K-Star charger. Now, yesterday, I had this battery on the camera. It was stone dead. Nothing showed on it. The battery was charged in the camera case, but I don't use it because it's clunky. Another thing, this battery... Um, <clears throat> will do is move the camera around too much it disconnects it is pretty heavy and if you leave the camera in one place like on a tripod you'd be fine however when I put it onto the camera nothing showed up so okay so I plugged the camera in with the cord that goes into here with my JBC charger which comes with the <clears throat> which comes with the camera okay and it blinked red here which means it's charging <clears throat> so I let it go all night, not last night, the night before, and it was still blinking. I said, oh, well, it must be charged, I don't know. So I unplugged it. Battery was on the camera, this battery, the large one. Nothing, dead. So I used the K-Star battery charger, which came with the battery. <clears throat> and I plugged it in and it lit red which means it's charging the first time I tried charging the battery before I did it into the camera it went green right away and so I left it on green for several hours took the battery out dead wouldn't work on the camera so Yesterday, I put it into the charger, and it lit red, which means it's charging. And just before I started this video, came over, the charger was charging the battery. It was fully charged. This light was green. So now the test is, is this charged up or not? We don't know. I've always had good luck with K-Star batteries, but it seems like the extra-large capacity batteries give me trouble. Now, on these chargers, there's only two pins that are used on the battery. I think there are three pins used on the camera itself. As you can see, I've got the K-Star... 4,900 milliamp battery connected to the camera. 
When I open the side view, the camera should come on. Let's find out. Nope. So I threw money away. That battery did work. Let me see if I can set this camera up and play around with this thing. Maybe it's not making good connection. I don't know, but I was using the JVC battery here, which came with it without any problems. Here is another JVC battery right here. That works okay. Now I've always had good luck with K-Star batteries in my Kodak cameras here. Like the ZI-8 and Play Touch and stuff like that. They've always worked good. But let me play around with this so I can get you set up here. I don't know if you can see I got the Bob Lav W1 set on a on my power supply over there. So the camera should come on. We got it as soon as that side view is open. Should come on. According to this K-Star battery charger here, the green light is on. It was red last night, so it charged overnight, but obviously either not making connection or the battery's no good. Have no idea. Alright. Hear that? That don't fit in there good and tight. Alright. We'll take that out. And put in the original JVC battery. Viewfinder's open. There's the camera coming on. Okay. Take that out. Close the camera. Take that out. Put the K Star back in. No lights flashing. Obviously, it's no good. We'll put the other JVC in. Working fine. So, obviously, got burned on these. Now I've always swore about K-Star batteries being great. I've always had good luck with them. But right now, no. I plug this in up here. Green light means it's done. Okay. Making sure that that's slid all the way in. And I, like I said, I already tried this battery on the camera. And it was flashing red, which indicates it's charging. When you use the charging cord that goes into the side over here. So, as for K-Star extra large capacity batteries, especially the JVC ones, I do not recommend them. Um, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think Tommy had trouble with his too. Because when I ordered one, he ordered one for, he's got a JVC. Uh, I think it's a Model 30 or something like that. Now, I also have another JVC over here, which is not HD, which does very good. Um, it takes the same battery. <clears throat> I'll get that out for you. 
and we'll take this battery and try it in that camera. But before I do that, this is the JVC GZE100BU, Bill Uncle. I think Doug has two different letters on the end of his. Now, except for the color scheme, and it looks different over here. It looks different, but maybe it's just because it's color. He's got white in there, you know, so it's probably the same camera, 40X zoom, and so forth. I'm sorry I'm getting over a cold. I've, I've got a gravelly voice, and unless I irritate my viewers by clearing my throat constantly, I'm going to have to talk like this. Nothing I can do. I've been taking cough medicine with the exception of last night, coughing my head off. I got a dry cough that every time I breathe, I cough. Last night, I had a good night's sleep. Uh, okay, so let me get the other JVC out. This is the one that I use all the time in my shop for close-ups and stuff like that. The other one is not quite as good in low light, but it's a Model 30, I believe. Looks the same as this. So I'll get that out. We're going to try this K-Star battery up here, which... As you can see, it's green, would indicate that it's fully charged, but it's not. Now, the contacts on these are so super tiny and thin that you can't get in there so you can zap it with a higher voltage to wake it up. I don't know what else to do. On the older batteries, like on your old Samsung camcorders, they had two big bars, copper bars, let positive and negative, and you can just zap it with, you know, from your power supply, a, a little higher voltage, and maybe sometimes you can rejuvenate them enough so that they'll take a charge in the charger or in the camera. But these things here, um, you can't get anything in there to put a voltage into them to wake them up. But as I said, there's only two contacts I showed you in that battery charger, a positive and a negative. So that's all it does is put the charge in there. It does not use the sensor um, part, but I think the camera uses it. But that's when you buy these K-Star battery chargers, they only use two contacts, even the ones for the Kodak batteries. The Kodak batteries has three contacts on them, but the charger only uses the positive and the negative of those two charge uh, terminals. All right, so enough chattering. Let me get my other JVC out, which I don't use very often. This is, this one I bought at a thrift store a couple of years ago for 30, uh, 20 bucks, 20 bucks. It is not as good as this one. The model of this one is JVC GZ HM30AU. And its battery is very, very weak. I'm going to pull down that. So, JVC battery. Now, first of all, I got a weak battery in here. This is the, the GZ HM30AU. GZ HM 30 AU. All right. It always comes up with that. I just hit the record and I get out of that. The battery's yellow, so I got to I got to take and change the battery. So let's see if the K Star battery will work on this. They all, it did one time. Again, it's loose. Hear it? No good. So, looks like it's going to go into the recycle. All right, so, I know I got to charge up the battery in this, and I keep the battery separate from this, even though it's the same battery. All right, so, this is the battery from the this one. Put that in there. See, nice and solid. It doesn't rattle around. And 
it's not as bright in low light, but it too does good close-ups. All right. So let me put that back. So again, the cameras are physically identical. Uh, this is also 40x on the zoom. I assume you can see me all right, being that I'm using the Bob Lob W1. Um, it's pretty wide angle. So the only thing is this fell off, the little rubber thing that takes the same charger for it. So um, it even came with a camera case from the thrift store when I got it, a charger, and Believe it or not, another 4,900 milliamp battery. So obviously I bought two of these, one for each of these cameras. Let's see if this thing is any good. Still loose, but let's just see. Yep. That shows a full charge. All right, so we don't need to worry about that. So let's put that over here and let's get this dead one on here again. I don't understand that now. Nope, it just went out. Nope, there it is. Oh, it keeps going out. It's got a full charge, though. It's loose. See that? I have to take my thumb and hold it. Okay. So it's a connection problem. <sighs> With these clunky... 4,900 milliamp hour batteries. So, what I'm going to do now, doesn't matter what charger, the book, they take the same. I'm going to charge up. I'm going to charge up this JVC battery. And she's charging. Okay. So, it's a connection problem with the connectors on the back of the camera. Now, on the camera itself, which I can't see. I think I'm still recording. I hope I am. Uh, one, two, three, four. There are five contacts on the back. Let me just move this so to get the light. There are five contacts on the back of the camera itself. On the K-Star charger, <clears throat> it's only using two out of five. So, obviously the battery's okay, but it's, it's useless. Because you can't put it on the camera and hold it with your thumb to make good contact. And I really had to press up on this and keep it in there. And even then, the camera stopped and restarted again. So, 
not a very good uh, not a very good battery so while my second JVC is charging we'll uh, end this video here I guess so I think um, I think I got the same camera, Doug, with a different lettering at the very end. Um, mine does 1920 by 1080. That's the best resolution. And that's what this Boblov does also. But the Boblov W1 at that resolution, which is supposed to be 1080p, um, is clearer, somewhat clearer than the JVC. So primarily this is what I use in my shop or most anywhere now is the Bob Lob W1 and the JVCs and these JVCs have uh, been very good and they're not touchscreen. The only camera that I've got regular camcorder that I have is the Sony SR12 uh, which weighs about feels like it's about five pounds it ain't that heavy but it is touchscreen all right so these batteries here are both 4900 milliamp hours K star batteries they're too damn heavy to hang on the back of a camcorder and make good connection all right, so that's it for the video. I wanted to just make a, a little video, uh, kind of like a, a reply to uh, Doug, a D-E-R-B channel, Doug's Electronic Repair Bench, because he demonstrated his camcorder. And... Other than the looks of it, I'm pretty sure the camera you have, Doug, is the same as I've got uh, on this one. No, on this one. I'm sorry. Got to remember this is this is a light blue. This is the model GZ HM30AU. This is the twenty dollar one I bought. I don't remember what I paid for this, but I got a good deal on this too. I think I got that for 10 bucks at a thrift store. When the thrift store first opened, they were very reasonable. And I bought it as is, and I great, worked right off the bat. So I've had it for a few years. Then I acquired the other one, but I've used this one because this is a little better in the low light in the shop. Um... And the video quality is a little better. The highest on that, I'm not sure what it is. I think they call it fine or whatever it is. Um, I'm not sure. If, I haven't used it in a while. I'm not sure if the blue one, the GZ HM30AU, is 1080 or not. It's been too long since I used it. But this is my to-go camera, as well as the one I got in my hand, which is the Bob Love W1. Okay. Thanks for watching. Have a good day, everyone.